All right, hey, it is uh, Friday, day before A2 here, Anaheim. Uh, Cole Thompson, buddy, we, uh, well, we're here at your pits. You got another nice little spot here with the, uh, the big rig. Yeah, able to get parked uh, right away and uh, set up for Anaheim too. Uh, crazy, the first three rounds kind of went by so quick that hard to believe we're back at Anaheim again for round two, but excited. All right, well, uh, I saw you at the Viney Ranch this week, you and Noah Viney. Yeah. Doing some uh, cat and mouse stuff. Uh, how did that go? How are you feeling? Uh, that track looks pretty good. Yeah, no, it was good to have uh, have them invite me back to their track, their private facility here in Marietta. Uh, it's nice to have a track that you can just ride with a few people and uh, Noah being uh, as quick as he is, helping me get a little faster at those sprints and work on the, some of my weaknesses. So, like I said, it's pretty cool to ride with the next generation coming through. He's gonna be one of the kids that you see on podiums and chasing after championships in a few years. So it's cool to get, uh, I guess, uh, a preview of what's to come with him and just awesome to have a place out here. Nice, now you mentioned that in a comment Tom, on, on social media there that, uh, I mean, Noah is 16, almost 17. Yep. Uh, you started a little bit behind him, kind of tried to chase him down. Uh, impressed with his style and technique and everything. And I mean, uh, you look good too, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm blown away. I think he's on the right track to do everything, uh, you know, right. And uh, you see it in his riding, even just since I've been there, he's he's always getting better. And this week was, you know, same thing. I would go out behind him and he was determined to keep me from catching him and I was determined to catch him. And you can see that he was picking it up every time we went back out. So, like I say, the, the kid has a bright future. I'm excited to see what he does. I think, um, I think he's going to be one of those kids that you'll see, like I say, in a, in a, in a couple years, be uh, hunting down championships. All right, now I've got to ask you, you put out the post, do we get uh, Chloe a pit board or not? What, pit board. Uh, what happened? We got to get a pit board, get her pitting. Uh, we'll try to keep it as simple as possible, but maybe get the odd motivational message in there when we get a, get a chance. Why don't you start easy? Go pit board, no marker. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can come up with. She's done Baby a bit steps. of pit boarding. Yeah, she's done a bit for me when I did the practice track thing, but never in a race scenario so we'll see uh, we'll see what she comes up with hopefully uh, something uh, creative and unique and we'll try to document as much as we can <laughs> all right now last week was uh, ninth place your best finish so far yeah. uh, it was a bit of a uh, interesting main start uh, obviously your confidence uh, level has gone up I'm sure what uh, I mean do you expect us to keep moving up from there like I said just uh, every weekend's a new challenge so we'll see what uh, we can do this weekend obviously ninth was great to be back in the top ten I think for weekend to weekend, if I can get closer to those guys that have been uh, ahead of me, great. And just seeing a little bit of progress, I think we'll be happy regardless of the result. Just happy to be out here racing. Happy to be sort of in the mix last weekend was pretty cool. Even though I got, you know, kind of blown by near the end of the race, but I was still there and I was still somewhat in a battle. And to me, that, that just means progress. So like I say, one, one step at a time this weekend, Got to figure out the track a little quicker and get things rolling a little smoother. Uh oh, couple makers behind us here. Now, hey, you, uh, you've messed around inside, outside on the gates. Uh, it worked out well last week, but I'm not sure that's always going to be the case on that outside. What, uh, what's the strategy this week? Just kind of see. Uh, last week, I didn't pay enough attention in the in the practice starts that we do in the qualifying, and then when I went into the heat race, I was way too far inside. Got off to a bad start, but I think it helped me as far as kind of figure that out for the main. Uh, everyone kind of went towards that inside again and I went completely to the outside. This weekend it's hard to say. I think you'll have to watch, see kind of ahead of time. I know I try to go in and watch some of the guys that do starts uh, before me as well as you know the 450 class after me. Okay now it's media day. We're all finished up here. Did you go in there and take a look at the track or have you seen it? Yeah, yeah I looked at the track today, watched some of the futures going around it. Looks like it's a longer track this weekend for sure. One set of whoops, two triples, more of your traditional kind of supercross. Sand good. section. Sand section, can't forget that. Uh, still questionable why they have sand sections, but at least it's just a corner. It's uh, a white corner. Can you turn right? I can't turn right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. No, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think overall the track looks pretty good. A lot drier than the first, the first round here. Uh, I think it'll get pretty baked in, but hopefully the moisture comes out for the night show. All right, Cole. Hey, thanks for chatting with us here. It's uh, we got to get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna hop into some Friday afternoon traffic, LA to Murrieta. That can't be good. But uh, hey, man, have a good sleep. And we'll uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you.